Hey guys, we got some breaking news. I'm sure you've all heard it, but it is something I just got to get out there. Binance has just bought FTX. This is absolutely phenomenal. We know that we've been dealing with all of this kind of head knocking between FTX, Sam Bankman Fried, and CZ at Binance. And it looks like, guys, Binance has just come in there and just said, hey, goodbye, SBF. We're going to take the show over. And thank goodness, because look, guys, what SBF was proposing was absolutely insane for this crypto space to literally whitelist and blacklist addresses and and kind of get in there and muddy up the whole DeFi thing and all that and we truly hope that cz is going to come in there and keep these crypto regulations or at least keep the narrative for crypto regulations in a way in which we as crypto holders are protected with having that ability to go on these exchanges not having to go to the traditional rails of brokerages and custody and keep that ourselves so just take a look right over here with this deal. Binance offers to buy FTX's non-US operations to fix a liquidity crunch. So they, they've reached a deal with Sam Bankman's Freed FTX to buy the crypto exchange. So Binance CEO CZ tweeted Tuesday morning that there is significant liquidity crunch at FTX and that after FTX asked for Binance's help, they signed a non-binding agreement intending to fully acquire FTX and help cover the liquidity crunch. We could not have had a better outcome than this because guys, we all know if FTX would have completely folded under that liquidity crunch, if that's truly what was going on there then it would have been devastating for this whole entire space but the fact that Binance as a big holder by the way of FTT has come in and said look we are just going to bring you and in, just envelop you right into the Binance family as far as I'm concerned one of the best if not the best outcome that we could have seen CZ has been great for this space now look all of these guys certainly have their issues to be sure, but from what I've seen from CZ thus far, he has supported the crypto mindset of this industry for you and I to actually have a role to play to be able to hold on to self-custody our assets and all of that kind of stuff. Certainly, he's in favor of some crypto regulation like we all are, because if we're going to see worldwide adoption on a major institutional scale, then we have have to acknowledge that there are going to be some regulations out there that we're going to need to follow and I don't think any of us truly are against regulation what we're against is we're against this whole authoritative regime coming in and just making it impossible for people like you and I to get into crypto and make it so only accredited investors can do it or that we can't custody ourselves or anything like that and certainly CZ has that mindset as well so I'm really liking that. So here is actual tweet of it. This afternoon, FTX asked for our help. There was a significant liquidity crunch to protect users. We signed this nine non-binding agreement. What an amazing deal. And of course, you read through this article, you're going to see all the things that have been going on. And look, Sam Bankman Free even confirmed the agreement himself in a tweet. And this deal marks a cataclysmic collapse for a company that earlier this year was valued by private investors at $32 billion. Look, when FTX came in and they acted like the heroes in the whole Celsius deal, which by the way was kind of disingenuous considering the offer they were giving to Celsius holders or folks that had their assets on Celsius. It was like pitiful amount. Well, guys, now you see the thing has come full circle for FTX. And I think there's a lot of folks that are going to be so happy and supportive of this agreement because they do not want a future uh, for crypto that SBF was trying to put out there. So I thought I'd come out 
get a video out to you all because normally we only do our coffee chat. Hey, and in my coffee chat, I was just talking about the head knocking. This is even greater than that. And I think it's going to be an exciting development. And guys, look, there's another reason we don't swallow all the FUD that comes out because all that FUD that was coming out and people, pro you know, uh, predicting a massive crash and collapse. Well, we don't get to see what's behind the scenes all the time. And there are folks that exited their positions based on that FUD that are now probably going to be kicking themselves. This is why you wait it out and you don't let fear, uncertainty, and doubt cause you to vacate your positions. You weigh it out. You weigh it through. And those of us that are, you know, OGs or people that have been around a lot in this crypto space, we've gotten used to these kind of narratives and we've weathered a lot of these storms. And so good on you for those that held and for those that did liquidate. Hey, look, it's a learning experience. Get yourself back in the game. You'll learn this space over time and you'll be able to navigate a lot of these ups and downs. This is probably the most volatile space you can get into to be sure but that very same volatility is what brings us these amazing gains so guys as you can tell i think this is a great development for us in this space i wanted to get out there and share it with y'all and i hope you have a great afternoon and we are going to be sending out our video later on today our regularly released video but this is great news and wanted to get it out there and share it with you so until later on take care guys